One second. I got two more scripts. Can I give you two more scripts? Yeah. I'll pray. First three. Corinthians chapter 3 and verse 16. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? So do you know that your body is a temple of God? Yeah, your body is a temple of God. Right. This is a gift that he gave to you, right? We're supposed to take care of it. If somebody gives you something, you're supposed to take care of it, right? So if somebody gave you a new car, you're going to treat it any kind of way, you're going to take care of it. Bring it out. That's right. You're going to take care of it. Somebody gave it to you, right? Read. And that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. So the Spirit of God, meaning God's laws, is supposed to be inside of us, right? Read. If any man defile the temple of God. So if you defile this gift that the Most High gave you, read. Him shall God destroy. All right. What are some ways we defile God's temple? What are some things we do that destroy ourselves? Drinking, alcohol. Alcohol. Drugs. Drugs. What else? What are some simple that we get out the store? It say on the back of the pack, it'll kill you, but we do it anyway. What is that? Them cigarettes. Cigarettes. That's defiling your temple. Anything that's going to destroy your body is defiling your temple. And what God say going to happen? Him shall God destroy. So guess what? When you defile your temple, that's why we die. When we smoke cigarettes, that's why we die. When we are drunker, that's why we die. Because right. you're defiling God's temple. That's right. right. Your temple, you only supposed to have God's laws in your body. That's what you're supposed to have. That's the spirit of God. Right? Uh, let me get that in Ezra real quick. Second Ezra. 654. Read that. I'm gonna let you, I'm gonna give, give you this before you go. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 54. I want you to hear this. This is gonna show you how important you are to God. Because you might just be walking down the street thinking insignificantly, I'm I'm just who I am. But you above what the world thinks of you. Now, I'm gonna show you what God says. That's why the pastors don't teach this. Read. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures. Of him come we all. So all of us come from Adam. Let me show you the distinction. Read. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So God had a chosen people from the beginning. Right. Before you even came on this earth, he already chose you, my what? brother. Read. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. He said he made the world for the sake of his chosen people. So what that mean, brother? This whole earth belonged to who? It belonged to us. It belonged to you. All God waiting for you is to get yourself together. Get yourself together so you can get the gift of what's coming. Because once the destruction comes, he gonna rebuild his kingdom. And you got to rule that kingdom. Once he, once he wipe this stuff out, burn all this stuff up, somebody got to rule what comes next. Read. Right. right. As for the other people. Now, this the other people. The other people that's above you, that's ruling you right now. That's oppressing you right now. Read. Right. Which also come of Adam. They came from the same Adam. Read. Thou hast said that they are nothing. What? Thou Wait hast said. Did you hear that? Yeah. I saw it just shook you then. It just yeah. shook you. Did you? Yeah. I saw you yeah, got no, shook. No, he, Let him read it again. Right. He ain't oh, never yeah. heard that before. Hey. This is no, the no, Bible. Yeah. Hold on. Show it to him. Just the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people just, hey, they got a couple of scriptures, they leave all the rest of it out. We're not leaving nothing out. That's right. Read. As for the other people, which also come of Adam. They say them other people that come from Adam, they like to say, well, we all came from Adam. But he said uh, he had a separation from us and everybody else. We were separated before we were even born. Read. Thou has said that they are nothing. He said they are nothing. God say they are nothing. You are my chosen. You are my children. Right. They are nothing. Watch how what he compares them to. Read. But be like unto spittle, and as like the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. And the most high God say the other people to him is spit. Just a little spit on the ground, or one drop that comes out of a vessel. Right. So what that mean? What's the comparison? Are we on an equal plane with everybody else? Hell no. Yes, Most I just said they nothing. He right. said, you are my known, you my chosen. That's all you got on that? Yes, sir. You got some more? Yes, sir. Read. And now, O oh Lord, behold, these heathen 
which have ever been reputed as nothing. So the people that have always been nothing, watch this. Here go your history here again, read. Have begun to be lords over us. So the people that are nothing have become lords over us. When we got off the slave ship, when we got off the slave ship, when we became captive, when the Most High gave us unto them. So now the ones that he said are nothing, so it ain't hard to figure out who he talking about. Because he said the ones that are nothing are the same ones that's ruling over you now. So he said these same people that were nothing, now they rule over us. Who ruling over us? Who rules over us? God. Who? I think God. Uh, that's true. But who rules over us on this physical earth? God is over everything. That's why we know what's happening to us. He allowed it to happen. Right. So, but who's ruling over us right here in a good old America? In the United States. Who rule over you, brother? Who rule over you? That's who laws you have to abide by? That's by my own laws. You abide by your own laws? Yeah. Okay, let me ask you something then. So if you get public intoxication, what's your law going? What you gonna do? Who gonna come get you a lock in? Uh, who, who, okay, uh, who that represent? Who laws are that represent? The man of book. That's what you, hold on bro. Get that in uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 48. Deuteron on, check this out, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Right, read. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. So the Most High God said you're going to serve your enemies. Read, let's see how we're going to serve them which the Lord shall send against thee. So he sent them against us. How do we get over here on slave ships? Who brought us over here? I don't know. Man. You don't know man. who brought us over here on the slave ship? Man, hold on, hold on, hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro, hold on, hold on. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. white man. Hold on. Who? The white man. Okay, the then don't be ashamed man. to say it, bro. Now, who did all this to us? Ain't ain't went all bad like that, bro. But the Bible did. This is our biblical history. Okay. So that's who's ruling over us. You see the slave ships? They brought us over here. They brought us over here for free labor. Right. That yeah. That's who I, That's who the enemy is. That was your enemy. Come on over. He man. rocking you to death, but this your enemy. Look what he did to our people. Now let's, let's read what, what, why it's happening. Read it. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So the God said we're going to serve our enemies. You, you listening, brother? I'm here. All good. Which the Lord shall send against thee. So you hear what it said? Yeah, God rules all, but it said God is the one that put them over us. Right. That's the reason we're in the state we are. Read. In hunger. In hunger. If we hunger, who we have to go to? Who we have to go to? I ain't talking about no damn fry daddies. <laughs> who we have to go to? Who fry daddy had to go to get all his stuff to cook? Right. Huh? He gotta go to them. Yeah. Because even back then, when you came out the cottage, who we had to, who had to feed us? What? They did. There you go, read. And in thirst. In thirst. So if you need water today, it's hot as hell out here. Where you gotta get water from? Who do we get water from? Okay, because can you go to the ocean and drink out of the ocean? Hell no, it's salt water. You gotta go in that stove, you gotta go in that stove, you gotta go to McDonald's to get some water. But who produces that water? That same enemy, right? Read. And in nakedness. In nakedness. If you're going to get clothes, even in slavery, who clothed us in slavery? The white man. The white man. Yeah, we ain't ashamed to tell the truth. Read. And in want of all things. So one of all things. So in America, in America, who is above us? Because we got to go to them for everything. The white man. There you go. Man, bro, ain't, we ain't ashamed to say what the truth is. Right. They rule over us. We're not ashamed of that because we know what the next kingdom is. What did I just read? That we're going to be over and they're going to be beneath. Right. Yeah. All right, get Second right. Ezra 6 and 9. That's what I want. They're going to be beneath us, bro. Read. Second Ezra chapter 6 and verse 9. For Esau is the end of the world. So Esau is the biblical name of the Europeans, the white man, whatever you want to call him, redneck or whatever. That brought us over here on a slave ship. Right. He said his world is coming to an end. That's Don't you right. see it? You see it. He got hurricanes, storms, flood, all of they stuff getting jacked up. Right. When you see these floods coming through, you don't see too many of us. Whose stuff get jacked up? They stuff get jacked up. You got storms, wars, hurricanes, tornadoes, 
So this world coming to an end. Right. Look at all, all this money they giving away on the stimulus. What you think gonna happen? They gotta get that money back. Right. They have been right. giving out all this money, they gotta get that money back. This world coming to an end is about to be a financial downfall, read. And Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Guess what? Now it's our time to shine. Most High God said when he destroyed this place, he going to fix it up, they going to build it up, and we going to rule. You going to rule, I'm going to rule. All of us going to rule over this same kingdom, right? You got that? Give me Deuteronomy 2868. I'm going to prove to you. Let me show you about the slave ship. I just said it a couple of times. Read. Our De enemies brought us over here on the slave ship. Read. Right, right. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Most High God said he's going to bring the Israelites into Egypt again. Let's find out what Egypt is. Give me that. Exodus. Definition of Egypt. Read. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 2. Right. I am the Lord thy God, which shall brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So Egypt means slavery in the Bible. Right. That's what it means, slavery, because in Egypt, we were slaves. They had all kinds of slaves, right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Read again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Slavery, right? Again, with ships. On ships. So who went into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships? Who went into slavery on ships, brother? You 49 years old, you supposed to know that history. I know, I am. You know we came over here on ships. Oh yeah. That's okay. We came over here on ships. This is the transatlantic slave trade. Right. We, they brought us over here on ships. That's how we got here, yeah. right? That's our history, it's in the Bible. Read, watch this. By the way of I spake unto thee. So the Bible is telling us your history. So that proves to you the Bible talking about us. Read on. Thou shalt see it no more again. So our homeland was Israel. We ain't never been to Israel. We got people going back to Africa. But the, the prophecy says that we're not going to see our homeland. That's Israel. Right? Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Was we not sold? Yeah. Were we not sold yeah. to our enemies? You see that? Right? This is biblical prophecy. So we were sold to our enemies. Our families were separated. They took the, 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 the families and separated them, the daughters, the babies, the children, your, your son. We were all sold different to different plantations. That's what happened to us. All right, read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. Bond men and bond women meaning you're going to work for free. Right. For free, they keep talking about reparation, and the European is saying no. I don't owe you a damn thing. But you know that our people work for free for hundreds of years, right? right? right. And you're doing the same thing now because they don't pay you enough to take care uh, uh, to have the same lifestyle as them. Right, right. We have to work hard for our money out here. Right. The black right. man got to break his neck and you don't even have time to live because you're always at work. Right. right. So it's the same thing. Right. 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 Uh, go back to... Uh, uh, yeah, finish it. I'm sorry. And no man shall buy you. So it said no man was going to save us. Has anybody been able to save us? Did Malcolm X save us? What happened to him? Kapow! Yeah. Did Malcolm, uh, 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 Martin Luther King, was he able to save us? Yeah, he got out clean, clean. No, you, did he? He said that he led his people into a burning house. Right. So the freedoms that we have, it's just mental. We That's think right. we free. We think we free, but how you free? What's your what's your nationality? What are you? What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Who who are you? As a people, what's your nationality? You're African American. What are you? I'm African American. But I just taught you you're Israelite. See that? See? All right, what, where do you come from? From Mobile. See, how you free if you don't know where you come from or who you are? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, 
nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.